Did I get you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's me. Don't worry about it. Thanks, buddy. How you doing? My name's Greg, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're doing a little something... <laughs> I've been trying to keep myself busy during this very long pandemic quarantine situation. I decided to pick up baking, because why not? I've always wanted to bake stuff. A while ago, I actually made something. I made cinnamon rolls, handmade. I made the dough and everything. I made the sauce and all that. Sauce. I made the frosting. Why did I say sauce? And it turned out really damn good. Here's some pictures of it. Uh, I didn't get the icing correct. It wasn't like perfect, but I mean, they, they look pretty damn good. But for the spirit of spooky season, I decided I wanted to do something for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be making the cinnamon rolls again, but with some pumpkin spice to make it spooky. So, you know, in honor of spooky season, gotta get the apron on, am I right? It's a... It's a Christmas apron. I got it in Thanksgiving. Don't get mad at me. Just as a quick heads up before I start this video, you hear little tip taps along the floor. That's just my dogs. They're just walking around watching what I'm doing. Anyway, first things first, wash your damn hands. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, O, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. I am never going back in the water. Next thing we need, ingredients. Whole milk. I don't, I don't have whole milk, so I'm just using regular milk. Granulated sugar. One stick of unsalted butter. One packet of activated dry yeast. Here we go, boys. The ungranulated sugar and flour. Baking powder, baking soda, um, powdered sugar, and brown sugar. This brown sugar is really hard, so... Oh, fuck. I think I ripped a hole, maybe. Right here it says two tablespoons of cinnamon. But instead of cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice. Not pumpkin spice, but it's pumpkin pie. In my opinion, arguably the best type of anything pumpkin. We got vanilla extract. And... Oh, I need the cream cheese. So we might have a problem. I don't think I have cream cheese. So I don't have cream cheese. So let's go get some. <laughs> I got it. We got whole milk now, we got cream cheese, and you don't need to worry about those two things. Okay, let's get started. Preparation. Make the dough. In a large bowl, whisk together the warm milk, sugar, and melted butter. The mixture should be just warm, registering between 100 to 110 degrees. Okay, let's get a bowl. Bowl for the dough. We need two cups of whole milk, warm to the touch. Now this sucker just came from the refrigerator at Walmart, so, so I'm gonna have to put this sucker into the microwave for a little bit. So two cups, okay. <gasps> I, almost, I almost forgot the main part. Okay, now I'm complete. Two. Why, why did I put you in here? I was supposed to warm it up, why did I put it in there? That was fun. Let's put this in for about 30 seconds. It says it should be warm to the touch. Nah. I'm gonna put it in for another 20 seconds. 
Okay, that's one. Paper towels. I'm not good with this stuff. We're going to need half a cup of granulated sugar. Oh, I'm gonna need this. We have a whole stack of these measuring things, so I'm gonna use them. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Let's open this up. Half a cup. Oh, can you guys see it? Let's move it around. Half a cup of that. Half a cup or one stick of unsalted butter melted. Melted? Oh, shit. It goes in the microwave. Let's get a plate. Put this sucker on the plate. No, don't rip. When they mean melted, I presume they actually mean melted. Or like, kind of melted in a way. Because, yeah. Let's do 20 seconds. 10 more seconds. Oh, oh it's swooshing around. <laughs> so, one stick of butter. That was not a good idea. Yes, lick that up, my dog peasant. No, excuse me. Don't do that, actually. Don't actually do that. Two one-fourth teaspoon or one packet of dry yeast. Active dry yeast. So, that's gonna be one of these packets. Yeah, okay. Scissors! Don't we have to stir this shit up? Close! So I'm pretty sure at some point they expect you to stir this. I'm just gonna stir it to get the freaking butter. Put this in the so How you doing? I don't know if that's melted or not. Am I supposed to whisk? Yes, you are supposed to stir it. Just not now. I am dumb. Sprinkle the yeast evenly over the milk. Mixture, stir, and let sit in warm place for about 10 minutes. So let's put this in here. You hear that? It's supposed to mix well. Pretty sure get all the butter out of it. I'm not good at this. I'm gonna get a whisk. So how you doing? It's supposed to be melted. Ah, uh, that doesn't look melted. I'm gonna put this back in the microwave. Ooh. I think I did it! I think I did it, boys and girls. Do any girls watch my shit? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I think I might have fed up by putting the yeast in and then microwaving. It says let this sit for 10 minutes, so Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. <coughs> so I think I messed up already in the first part of the whole thing. Um that's just butter. Goodbye disappointments. Let's try again, shall we? So it was two cups of whole milk, correct? Yes. I am right, as always. So what I'm going to do, I already wasted three fourths of the milk. I am very bad. What I'm going to do now, is instead of just opening this, having it slightly melted but still a whole stick, I'm just gonna throw it in that measuring cup and just melt the entire thing. I'm pretty sure that's what they want you to do, but I didn't do that. So it's two cups of the whole milk, uh, half a cup of the granulated sugar, I believe. Okay, um, half a cup of the granulated sugar, and then one stick of melted butter. Also just wasted yeast. Oh yeah, that's some almost melted butter. Yeah boy. That's some melted butter, all right. In you go. Now it says to whisk together before the yeast. I didn't do that. In large bowl, whisk together the warm milk, sugar, and melted butter. The mixture should be just warm, registering between 100 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If any warmer, allow it to cool slightly. Okay. Ooh. It's 80, 81. So it needs to be 100 degrees before I put in the yeast. 
Uh, I, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for a little bit longer. Just to get it to that extra heat. I'm just trying to also remember what I did last time, and I think this might have been it. In you go! There's a lot of waiting for perfection. Cheers! <sighs> it's going up, it's going up! 95, 95, okay, 95. 10 more seconds! Yay! Doesn't that just look delicious? 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Ninety-six. You know what? Ninety-six is good enough. Sprinkle the yeast evenly over the mixture, stir, and let sit in warm place for about ten minutes. So let's waste another bag of yeast. Pour evenly. Okie dokie. Now we stir. So let's stir the mixture together. Okay, that seems almost exactly what I had last time. Mm. Well, I'll See you guys in 10 minutes again. Okay, we're back. Now we are supposed to add four cups of flour. I don't have the cup measuring tools. Ah, uh, don't worry, I have another measuring cup. Oh, it's one fourth. This is a half cup. I'll just, one, two, three, four. Let's go. So now we stir with a wooden spoon. So it says stir with wooden spoon until just combined. Cover the bowl with a kitchen towel or plastic wrap and let rise in warm place for an hour. Okie dokie, nice. This is looking kind of pretty if I must say so myself. Ah, oh, you gotta use all your arm strength basically. Oh, jeez. It smells like dough, that is for sure. Bad dough, bad. Okay, um, I think I got a good amount of it stirred. Um, so let's wrap this sucker in some plastic wrap. Okay, nice. Okie dokie. So we got it wrapped in plastic. So now we're gonna let this sucker sit for like a good hour. Okay, well, I, I, I'll see you all in an hour. And we're back. But look at this. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This thing is still really damn sticky. Make the filling. Oh sh! I gotta do that. This thing. Remove the plastic wrap from the dough and add the remaining cup of flour. Okay, baking powder and salt. Stir well, then turn onto a clean surface. Leave a bit of flour nearby. Okay, so we're going to do the extra cup of flour. So there's one cup. Uh, what was it? It was one teaspoon baking powder. I don't know if that's teaspoon or... I can't ever tell what's teaspoon and tablespoon. There we go, one teaspoon. So we do one teaspoon baking powder. One of these days I'll remember all of this and I won't have to keep looking back and forth at what this is. And then two teaspoons of kosher salt. Two of them? Yeah, two teaspoons of that. That's cool. One and dos. So now uh, add the remaining cup, baking powder, salt, stir well, and then... Okay, so now we stir this sucker around. This around. There we go. Now it's starting to come together. Ooh, boy. Nice, nice. Looking good, looking good, baby. No, don't lick that. We got good looking dough. It's still kind of sticky, but the fl more flour will then kind of bring it together. Oh, look at that. Ooh, boy. <laughs> no, get off. <laughs> kind of pour it on top. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Leave a bit of flour in your body to use as much as needed. But look at that. It's my child. Always good to have a sink nearby. I don't know why you wouldn't have a sink nearby to the kitchen. Okay, what's next? Knead the dough for at least 10 minutes. Yeah, this... This board is very... Hey, how you doing? You come here often? I don't like this board. I'm gonna wipe everything down afterwards, so... Sorry, Mom. Let's put this in here. So, we need for 10 minutes. I always feel very proud when I'm doing this, because it's like, I made this. Oh, the Lexus of it. Ah, 
back! It's all on the floor! No, that is not something you should lick. So, we've made pretty good progress with the dough. I feel like it's at a good point. I'm just gonna, cause I don't wanna add too much. That's that's what the instructions say, just not to add uh, an absurd amount. Stop it! No! Get back! If I throw this at the camera, what will be the outcome? I made this. This is a this is about as big as you were when you were a puppy. Yes, you were about this big. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Not that. Do not lick that, please. I like you. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next step. Oh boy. A lot of work for some cinnamon rolls. Okay, what are we doing next? The filling. Now this is the part where instead of doing the normal filling, I'm going to go ahead and do the pumpkin spice. Because it says, make the filling. In the medium bowl, combine the brown sugar and cinnamon. No, we're doing pumpkin spice. That's what's gonna make this... Pump, ha Halloween dish. Okay, combine the brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon. So we're going to do 3 fourths cup of light brown sugar. Like I said before, this thing is very hard. I don't think brown sugar is supposed to do this. Uh, not even close. When does this expire? Best by... Oh, 2021. We're good. See? We're fine. Okay, now... That's three-fourths! So that's three-fourths brown sugar. Now three-fourths a cup or one-half sticks of unsalted butter. So one and a half sticks of unsalted butter softened. So one full. That's awesome. Now let's get a second one. That looks like cheese. Now we soften it. A little any more. Come out the door. Come on, let's go in. Play. Oh yeah. That's softened. That's softened, all right. Skadoosh. And then two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Pumpkin spicy me. Tablespoon. Nice. Here we go, the pumpkin spice. Well. There we go. Oh boy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cinnamon. Might as well. Okay, so. Fork. Fork. Last time I did this entire recipe, I got, I feel like I got pretty lucky with it. Obviously because it was my first time and I think the, the first time you do anything you get pretty lucky with it. Now that, that's not always true. Oh, that's, that smells good. Wow, that pumpkin really actually made it smell a lot better. It's starting to smell like... October? I see the problem on why I'm messing things up. I keep doubting myself, and that's leading to not good results. Like I started the dough, turns out it was actually good, and I didn't need to throw it away. But I did, so it looks all right too. It looks like actual filling, but it doesn't taste all right. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's move on to Step number something. Oh yeah. Why am I such a dummy with these things? It's literally what I did last time and, I'm, and I didn't think to do it again this time. It looks good. It looks like a pizza dough. <laughs> so now we're supposed to spread this all around it. And then I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it. We're then supposed to wrap it up. Nice, nice. We're looking good, we're looking good. Okay, next step. Now we're supposed to roll it up. Starting from one short end, it says, roll up the dough into a log and then pinch the seam closed. Place seam side down, trim any uneven ends. So now, we just kind of roll this thing back up like so. And we got the log. Now you gotta get the floss, go under it. I'm gonna kind of just go across and then 
you cut it like so. Ooh! Okay. Once you do that, then you should have at least a good amount. I have nine rolls. Okay. So now we're supposed to get a pan, or a circle pan, circular pan. Perfect. I have two right here. And then I believe you spray them with a Pam. Pam! All you do basically is this. Okay, so now we start putting the rolls into the pan. And that's that part. So now the instructions say preheat the oven to 350 and bake the cinnamon rolls for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so we bake 350, 20 minutes. Okay, now we put them in. All goes there. Okay, while we're waiting for that, now we're supposed to do the frosting. Okay, that's some good looking frosting right there. And uh, while we let those bake, we'll just pop this in the fridge and I'll see you in 30 minutes. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that! So now, if you guys will be as so kind to follow me over here, now we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle it over. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moment of truth, everybody. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. Alright, that was. That's pretty much it. Anyway, I hope you all have a good Halloween. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Thanks for watching. 